And a family of six to five years old, Hussein Iba Mali, victim of Kaduna and bad governance protests, are demanding for justice over alleged killing of their husband, father, by the security operatives in Kaduna State. The wife of one of the victims, a 45-year-old Aisha Husseini, said her husband was not part of the protesters. He was on his way to visit his sick daughter admitted at Yusuf Dan Soho Hospital when he was shot dead. The widow's victim said all her husband's siblings have died and he, only, he was the only responsible one taking care of their orphans and now he is dead. She's asking who will take care of his children. Do you want in our family remain? All of his sister, they are die. Now we don't have anybody in our own family. Our father have a little children because if he's not alive, they cannot go to school. And this condition we are for body. To get food to eat three times now is not easy. If you have one times or two times, thank God. We, we are in tension of life now. We don't have anything. Please, let them help us. We don't have house. We are raining house. And he is the one helping us. He's already died. We don't have anybody now. Please, government, enter this issue. The brothers of the victim pleaded for justice over the killings of their late father, saying he only... He's the only elder remaining in the family, and he's gone. They called on government to investigate security operatives who shot him dead. We should not say hospital. They should come appear for the medical. He now just carries his back on his way going. Police started shooting. They're now shooting at the back of his head. The person that is carrying on top of the machine, he fall, he break his jaw, and he was shot at his stomach. He's still in the Fort Hospital, but on the rent house. So we don't know how to do. Our issue is that we need government to intervene into this issue. Our government to bring that police that shot him and to know how they will do with his children. And also the youth stakeholders in Kaduna expressed concern over the violent protest in northern Nigeria, stating it a total failure by leaders in the region without proper guidance and leadership to the teeming youth to be on the streets. Fight for their right. Assuming they successfully gang themselves and create their own leadership and take over, what is going to be the future of the North? Assuming the, 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 the bandits and the Boko Haram people infiltrate them and take over and become their leaders inside the main towns, like in Kaduna, like in Kanu, what next is going to be the future of the Arewa? So why are we stepping away and shying away from our responsibility just because we want contract or we want appointment or we want uh, uh, employment for our children? My thinking is that the not we fail ourselves, we're supposed to create a semblance of leadership. And this is really what really pained me in the Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.